Today's video will demonstrate how to iterate through a linked list. Hello, I'm James Helfrich. We iterate through a linked list quite differently than we iterate through an array or any other data structure. We have to have a pointer which advances from one node to the next to the next as we go through the list. This video will demonstrate two ways in which we can iterate through a linked list. Advancing to the next item in an array requires an incrementing the index variable by one. Notice how the array has each element in the collection adjacent to each other in memory. Therefore, if I refer to the first element, 85, I can get to the next one by saying index plus plus. Advancing to the next element in a linked list is different, and it's different because the elements are not adjacent to each other in memory. I refer to an element with a pointer, which I will call p, and the next element is p equals p arrow p next. So here I have a four element linked list. Initially, P will point to this element. If I wanna to get to the next element, then I say P equals P arrow P next, and I'll advance the pointer by one slot. There are four standard for loops we use in C++ a lot. The first one is an index loop or I index through an array. In this case, every element in the array is adjacent to each other, and I only have a pointer to the first element and the number of elements. So if I'm gonna write a display all, I'm gonna start my index at slot zero, and I'm gonna keep advancing it all the way until I get to num elements minus one. Notice how I access each element with the square bracket operator. All right, the C string pointer loop is similar to the array, um, but the difference is I don't use an index, but rather I use a pointer. So remember, a C string has an array of characters with a null character at the end. So I don't need to know the number of elements. I just have to keep iterating until I find the null character. So I'm going to start with P is pointing to the first element, in this case, lowercase s. And I'm going to keep going as long as the, the element that I'm pointing to is not the null character, which is the only false character. Then I'm going to advance the pointer by one. And I will end when I hit the null character, which evaluates to false. The iterator loop is similar to the index loop, except I don't use an, in, an integer, but rather I use an iterator. Let's take a vector for an example of six elements here. And I'm going to start with it equals v dot begin. And then I'm going to keep going as long as it does not equal v end, I'm going to advance it by one. The final type of loop, which is one we care about today, is the link list loop. And here I'm going to have a collection of elements. Each node is pointing to the next element in the collection. So I can't say i++ plus plus because each element is not next to each other in memory. I can't say p++ plus plus because the p, each node, is not adjacent. Instead, I have to say p equals p arrow p next. So I'm going to start with p pointing to the first element, and as long as that pointer is not the null pointer, then I'm going to keep saying p equals p arrow p next, and this will advance through the loop. And we're going to use this when we iterate through a linked list. So let's take a look at the size function. I'm going to start with s equals zero, my size, and p equals the p head, and as long as p is not the null pointer, p equals p arrow p next, and then inside a loop, I'll advance my s by one. So here I have a three element linked list, and I wanna emphasize that the nodes are not necessarily adjacent to each other in memory. They could be really anywhere. So I'm gonna start with s equals zero, and I'm gonna say p equals p head. And then I'm gonna say, is p the null pointer? And it's not because p head is not pointing to the null pointer and then s plus plus. Then p equals p arrow p next. So now p is gonna to point to the next element. Is that the null pointer? It is not. Go into the body loop, advance s by one. And then p equals p arrow p next. Is that the null pointer? It is not. Therefore advance the, the, the s by one. And then p equals p arrow p next, which gives me the null pointer. That evaluates to false and it exit a loop and return three. Now we can also do this with recursion. Remember, recursion is the process of calling myself. And I'm gonna say, if p head is the null pointer, I'll return zero. Otherwise, I'll return one plus the size of p head arrow p next. So let's take a look at the same elements I had before. And I'm gonna start here, if p head not equal null pointer. So that means the size is p head, which refers to one, two, three elements in the null pointer. And then since that's not the null pointer, then I'm gonna say return one plus size p head arrow p next, which is the same as one plus size of, and now I'm pointing to the next element in the list. Is that the null pointer? It is not. So I'm gonna say one plus, one plus size head, and then one element. 
I'm going to call myself again. And since it's not the null pointer, advanced by one, so it's one plus, one plus, one plus, and then p head equals null pointer. Since he, p head does equal null pointer, I return zero, so that returns to zero. Now one plus zero is one, which is one, and then one plus one is two, and then two plus one is three. So I get the same answer using the recursive solution as I do getting the iterative solution. We can learn more about the iterator advancing through a linked list and a size function in the linked list chapter of the C++ Data Structures textbook.